Mucho frío, ¿no? Deja la musiquita o no es permitido. No, en el parque no es permitido, pero ahora se van oyendo. Ah, bueno, está bien. Me llama algo usted, hombre. Un día tan frío. Sí. Sisti. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Víctor. Víctor. Mi nombre es Jaime Eduardo. Soy un turista gay. Ah, usted también sabe inglés. Sí, estoy estudiando. Ay, qué bueno. Ah, estoy en inglés. Bueno. Yo quiero estudiar inglés, hombre. Sí, me fascina el inglés. Estoy allá, allá estoy en inglés en la Universidad de Caldas. Ah, está en la Universidad de Caldas, sí. ¿Y qué, qué curso es? ¿Cuánto el, tiempo? Es? Son 18 niveles. Bueno, empiezo a ser el quinto el lunes. Ah, ya va para el quinto. Sí, ya voy para el quinto. Ay, madre. <risa> ¿Por aquí qué río bajó? ¿Por aquí bajó Partido Blanco o no? No. Bueno, diría que, yo diría que cayeron algunos pequeños fragmentos de agua. Esta es una de las plantas que almacena agua en los parques nacionales. Se llama guardarrocío. Es un espectorante. Se utiliza para la tos, cocinada en agua panela. Esta otra planta se llama uvilla de páramo. Es de un sabor uvilla. riquísimo. ¿Sí? Saben entre granadilla y uvas de estas fruticas. La consumen los colibríes. Está en vía de extinción. Eh, plan... Eh, your name is Arracachuelo or Apio de Páramo. Es una planta muy venenosa. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Se dice que es más venenosa que la cicuta. Okay. La utilizan los porque contiene contenidos de arsénico y otros elementos. Ay, okay. La utilizan los campesinos como insecticida para los ácaros. Debajo de los colchones ah, la meten. Sí. Ay, hijo de madre, así es de tóxica. Sí. Dice que más venenosa o sea, que esta se llama árnica. Esta. Eh. Esta árnica. 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 Es árnica. Es árnica. Antiinflamatorio. Uh -huh. Go rojo no 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 aquella que adentro ah. es velón rojo velón de páramo ya. echa un gel un gel para el cabello okay. ¿Sí? para el crecimiento del cabello por ejemplo para ti se echa acá y el cabello crece ok ve okay. sí. al gel vaya cuidado Uy, cuidado, no, cuidado la madre sí, se hunde <risa> por eso no me meto y no le saco gel ¿verdad? y tiene gel Sí, te hundes allá, te hundes, te hundes allá. Si tiene ah, ahí. si tiene. Ven aquí. Eh, aquí, aquí. No sé, yo me paro a ver si me capaz allá, vos te tengo zapatos mejores. Ok. Espera un minutito. Sí. Muchas gracias. Bien. Fabrica gente. Mira, ya. Mira el gel. Gel para el cabello. Échatelo, ah, échatelo. Sí. Eso. Que se lo eche. Sí, a mí. Oh, en mi cabeza. Para el cabello. Mm. Es para el cabello. Ese. Exacto. Exacto. Me salgo ya. Eh, yo no sabía que estaba para el cabello. ¿eh? Qué bueno. Ahí está. Lo he más, más. No. ¿Por qué, amigo? ¿Por qué? Para crecimiento de cabello, fuerte, cabello, fuerte. Ok. Uy, tranquilo. ¿Doy la mano? Ok. Mira. Ah, eso es. Yo le recibo a ver. Yo le recibo un poquito. Eso. Eso. Es muy bueno. Claro. <laughs> Échatelo. So they're saying that in one hour the degrees can fall so rapidly that uh, it snows. So I guess it, 
it, uh, it could be 60 degrees here. And then the next thing you know, within an hour, it's snowing on a constant level. And of course, the water is sucked into the plants and the plants go back into the ecosystem. So here, he, he's saying that there's microclimates, the wind, the rain, the water, sun, snow, that is needed for the survival of uh, Earth and, I guess, humanity. <laughs> Y a la hora estará 17 grados bajo cero. En una hora me ha bajado la temperatura a 34 grados. This gentleman says, I, I've been here for 17 degrees and by an hour it will be 17 degrees below zero in one hour. And he said it's already lowered the temperature by 34 degrees within the hour that we've been here. So, <laughs> which, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of cold, but I didn't dress for the occasion because I didn't know that it was going to be that cold up here. But uh, it is pretty cold. I can hardly breathe because of the uh, the height uh, of where we're, where we're at. Estaba en altura de 5125. Estoy aquí a 17 grados con un calor y me vivo en el grupo y a la hora estaba esa hora. I wish we could see the volcano a little better. But it's up there. I wish you could see it. Este fenómeno, este fenómeno sucedió hace dos días. This phenomenon happened two, two, uh, two, day, mira, two, mira two days ago. So this is what happened two days ago. Miras cómo están. Mira esto. Aquí mismo. A todas estas zonas. Wow. That's crazy. Lo que vemos hoy, ¿no? Esto mismo. Hace dos días. Wow. Mira la carretera. Este. Esto. He said this is the, the road that we're on right now. Y puede suceder en el mismo día. This, Ahora, this was yesterday. De un momento a otro. Ahora puede ocurrir. Ya, ya. Ahora. Sí, sí. Puede es ocurrir. El... Here, in this ecosystem, in this part of the world, Every, in this height, everything can change in one hour from summer to 80, 80 degrees. In one hour, out of nowhere, it could go down to 20 degrees or 30 degrees and produce snow. Amigo, pregunta. Todo el tiempo, todo el tiempo, todo el tiempo, todo el tiempo. Eso es de un momento a otro. Un año, todo no, el tiempo. No, 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 de un momento a otro. Dale, eso es de un momento a otro. Pues es que allá se demoran tres meses. Sí, para que so again, que once more, they say that this phenomenon happens Mira, throughout the year, every day, every minute, every second. Sun, sun. Right. Allá viene el sol. So sol, they're sol. saying sol. this, it's about to happen, <laughs> that out of nowhere, here comes the sun, and the weather's about to change, and the climate is about to get hot. So we went, we went from being, it feels like, I guess, 20 degrees to, I guess, now the sun's going to come out and we're going to go to uh, 70 degrees. What, como, what's the hottest temperature? Muy calor aquí. No, no di, lo más alto que yo he estado aquí, 24 grados. 20, 24. 20 degrees, okay, 24 Celsius. No, degrees. centígrados. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> so, so, so what they're saying is that in the phenomena, which happens on a daily basis every day, it, it drops 17 degrees below zero uh, on, on any given day. This happens here. Again, we were at the uh, Volcán Navarro del Ruiz and uh, the Park Navarro. Very historical here in Colombia, and I'm very blessed to be here. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hoy nos deshidratamos. Tomar agua y en la noche mucha sed, tomar más líquido. Okay. Hoy, un kilo. Hoy. Cada uno de nosotros, cada uno. Un kilo. Dentro 
los que vienen acá van a mejorar notoriamente sus vías respiratorias. O sea, es muy bueno para los asmáticos y los que tienen problemas de renitis. Lo más importante, apunta, apunta esto. Sí, sí. Lo más... Ahí va. Y todo los ha vivido Mira, aquí, el casito aquí en el parque. En el, en el parque. Okay. Eso lo ha logrado y su vitalidad se ha logrado por este aire tan limpio y el fenómeno de la oxigenación y los okay. glóbulos rojos que se aumentan en la sangre. Exactamente. So, the, the guide says that... That uh, at the end of the day, when we leave here, that we're going to be very dehydrated, and because we're going to we're going to lose a lot of water out of our system. However, that uh, our blood cells are going to be oxygenated, and we're going to be full of energy within the next two or three days. One of the things that he points out is that uh, this is very useful for youth, and what he was saying that his face. Is, um, is an example of that. He's 70 years old and it has no wrinkles on his face because he, he's been working here for and living here for so long up here. And uh, so he's saying that I need to uh, rehydrate because if not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. But at the same time, my blood level, uh, that b billions of red blood cells will be reproduced in my system within the next 15 to 18 days. <laughs> wow. wow. Billion, billions of new blood cells will be uh, generated within my body within the next 15 to 18 days, starting now, as soon as I leave. And this is the reason why I will feel so uh, energized. Can't wait for that to happen. Uh, good morning. My name is Jaime Eduardo Benavides. I am tourist guy. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, David Cruz. David Cruz. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, And he has a special connection to this park in that his, uh, in 1985, when the volcano erupted, uh, one of the losses, the 25,000 people that died uh, was his uncle who perished and uh, he never, he never s saw him again. So very sad story, but so um, David lives here in Manizales. So he brought me up here and uh, the tour guide lives up here in the mountains, in the park. So uh, they have a, a historical point of view to this place. And that's why they're very knowledgeable about the ecosystem here. And this is why they know that my blood cells will be regenerated up, to, uh, up by billions of new blood, uh, new red blood cells. And, um, and uh, He said that the water, the gel, uh, I don't know what that's called, but I'm going to find out right now what that gel of water is called. And maybe some of y'all may know, uh, especially if some, some of you who are uh, in school to study uh, the ecosystem or biology. But uh, I'm going to find out right now. So I'm going to pause and then when I come back, I'll let you know. Okay, so the phenomena is called Nevada, and that's why this place is called Nevada. But I asked him what the what the gel was that they put in my hand that I wiped on my head, and it's real. It's it's like a putting Vicks vapor rub uh, on your chest, you know, when you're sick. But uh, you don't smell the you don't smell that that uh, menthol. It's you don't smell anything. It's just nothing. But it feels on your system on my head. It feels. Uh, It feels like that, but uh, not sticky at all. Uh, there's no residue whatsoever. But when I asked them, they said, it's called ice. It's ice. And I said, but it's not cold. And they said, not all ice is cold. So it's basically water. It's a water gel that comes from the mist. And um, it, uh, it stays in the ecosystem. And it... That's what's getting caught in the plants, and that's what's producing uh, uh, to the ecosystem in this area and to the, to the world. 
it's a it's a it's a very big big uh, circumference uh, they told me but I forgot so maybe some of y'all could look that up if you're interested in it but we're gonna go up a little further and as we go up I find um, it's uh, a little harder to breathe uh, one of the things they told me is be careful of the pumas the pumas <laughs> so yeah that's all I need but uh, anyway uh, but that's the last thing on my mind, tell you the truth. I, I mean to be negative with that. But.